morning everybody it's been a while since i've done a video i was on vacation if you look at my page you will see i was in puerto rico well here's a new frameless bowless top i installed yesterday i didn't make a video i'm not feeling good i got the 11 day flu zombie flu whatever the heck they call it shit so i'm still sick but today I feel a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and work on this one here. What we're doing today is we're gonna remove this license plate holder. Because it's right in the corner. Every time somebody walks by, they bend the plate. You go to the car wash, it bends the plate. So we went ahead and got a plate holder that goes right here. That's the lights. Um, and that's what we're gonna install. It's these are the parts. I got it at Extreme Terrain. It's an ARB part. Very cheap. There's the license plate frame, all the parts. And we're gonna go ahead and take the two top nuts off where the new bracket's gonna go. I do not like this. I have to take the whole panel out and the side panel because I have to run the wires through here in order for the light to work and uh yeah that's gonna be a pain so let's look at the instructions and get started with this yeah first thing i'm gonna do is remove this table here Alright, I had to take out the screw on the table itself so I can drop down. That way I was able to get the screw out of here. Back here, there's these little plates. This comes with the table. I get instructions. You just pull them out. There's four. One, two, three, four. If he doesn't want the table back in, I'll just find a little plastic uh, push nuts, whatever you call them, and put them back in there. And right now, we're going <coughs> to take this cover off and then I forgot exactly how we did this we're gonna pull this off let's see if there's a I want to grab somewhere where just in case if it does scratch you won't see it look I don't even want to do it just pull this from here nice and easy comes right off. is this one right here so we're gonna run the wire here and then connect it to one of these i gotta run a tester to see which one is the brake light so i can connect this if not then i'm going to go all in here pull this panel out and connect it through there let me get a tester and check these wires here and see which one is the brake light hopefully one of them is you're gonna pull the cover off right back here. Once you pull it off, you put a T40 
guys are gonna scroll the plastic container screw that's in here. What we're just gonna do is release the tail light. If you ever have to change the bulbs or anything, but also I can look to see if it's necessary to remove the uh so it looks like if I have to remove the panel itself to get to the open up, let's see. Where's the cables? I really can't see from here. This one here, this one in there. I have to get a flashlight. I might be able to run through here without taking it out. So let me check and I'll let you know how this is going to work. Alright, I run into another issue. The grommet here. I can't fit my fingers in here. I put the cables in. So guess what? That means I gotta take the damn tire off. So I already I took the top screws off. I'm gonna take the bottom ones. Put the uh, tire to the side. Oh fuck. Oh, let me get the damn screw for this here so we can remove this also. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to zip tie all around here on this other cable. Right here. I'm going to write it in here. Hopefully I can pull it out and I'll show you the other side. Alright, I'm back. I was here for like two hours. Probably even longer trying to do this. The wire is a pain in the ass. Okay, well you take the wire here, run it in. What I did was I took the black wire connected here for ground. Then you don't want to go off of this wire here. This is for the uh, doors. If you go back here, 
These are for the tail lights. You want to get the white and orange. And the instruction says brown. That must be for a different year. But be careful. There is a white and orange that I did not know, as you can see. I tried to cut into it. I was here. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? So I had to go through the whole stack of wires. And there was another white and orange. And it turns on. So that that's what's going to take a while. Now, the next process here is, let me try to get this here for you. What we got to do now is take the um, attachment. We're going to run this. Black wire is going to go in the middle and white wire is going to go on the side. So, I already tried it. And it does work. You know, so good thing there. You take the black one, run it through. And then tighten it down. And you get the white wire. I say, did I do this right? I don't think I did. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Nope. Uh, first thing you want to do is get the plate. This is the part that comes with it. I already did the holes on here. You want to you know, take this off of here. This is why I hate doing videos sometimes. You're going to run the wire right here. And you run it through here. And then you're gonna run it to the light because then the light's gonna go on here. Something like this. On here, because then the cover goes on. So So as you can see, these longer lug nuts come with the uh, bracket. Put these on, they also come with these studs. Plate goes on here. I'm going to have to drill holes on my plate mount. Because it does not seem to fit. Still the same. You can see the light. The camera, I mean. The wiring is right back there for the new light. Maybe I go later on and paint this black. I'll see what he wants to do. But as you can see, the bolts, everything when I like the new look. If you like it too, thank you for watching.